And finally tonight, it is with an incredibly heavy heart that we share this news. Our beloved friend and longtime chief political correspondent, Michael Aaron, has died. Michael dedicated his life to journalism and the pursuit of the truth, spending four decades covering this state for public television. He interviewed every New Jersey governor, state Supreme Court chief justice, and legislative leader during that time, not to mention a few memorable presidential interviews. Anyone who had the honor of sitting with him was equally intimidated by his sharp questions and drawn in by his warmth, charm, and generosity. In 2009, then-Governor Corzine dubbed Michael Dean of the State House Press Corps. He certainly is. Michael could masterfully moderate debates, break national political news, or serve as a mentor to the youngest in the newsroom. No job was too small for a man whose legacy is so large. Earlier today, just before our interview with Charlie Style, we were processing this news in real time together. We thought we'd share some of that conversation and our memories. Hey, Chaz. Is that Brianna? It's hey, pal. Me. How you doing? I'm How sorry. I just heard some bad news. I know. That's why I needed a minute <laughs> before coming on, and I'm so sorry. That's not a problem. That's not a problem at I'm, all. I, I, I had a feeling for, that what was. For your loss, you guys were longtime friends. <laughs> we were. I, yeah, he's a mentor for all of us. <clears throat> um, well, I was going to wait to tell you until after <laughs> so that I could keep it together. Um, but yes, it's, uh, it's a sad day. Well, we will try to do this and talk about the U.S. Senate race because that's what Michael would want. Oh, absolutely. He would be uh, there with a notepad. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, Linda told me that um, right up until the end, he still would, from five o'clock until bed, have his lineup of all of his, you know, news shows, and then she would usually go and get ready for bed, and he would say, "All right, well now I have to turn on Fox to see what they're doing." So um, he still had his lineup every night, you know, current to the very last moment on every piece of news out there. So. Isn't that fitting? He, he was also a great link to the old newsrooms of the past. I, I don't remember. Um, I think it was the first Menendez trial. I go to the courthouse and we're all there with tape gadgets and everything. He comes in there with a notepad and pen. Like uh, it was something off the front page. You know, <laughs> the old he was like a character. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just yeah. He needed he needed a fedora and a little press. A real shoe leather reporter. He um, was part of that tradition. He was, even though he was television. I know. Well, those were his roots. Still, he was old school, um, but was not afraid <laughs> to learn all the new technology. I remember teaching him Twitter and how to do Facebook Lives, and he was like, "This is really cool," you know. <laughs> He wasn't, he could he have said it easily, was cool. well, he could have easily have said, I, I, yeah, I'm not going to learn that or I don't want to do that, but he never did. He embraced it all. So that was the cool thing about him. Um, the thing I'm most indebted to him about though, when I was starting out at the state house, I didn't even to quote Albio series. I didn't know where the bathroom was. And I wrote a couple, you know, stories for the Trenton Times about what things are going on there. Was, I don't think they were earth shattering, but then he calls me up to be on a show. And I thought I was like you made asked it. to walk down. I walked to, down the, the hallways of the Pantheon to talk to the great Michael Aaron. <laughs> I was so afraid. And it turns out he was such a gentle. I know. He was. He knew I was nervous, but he just gave me a wide berth and was very easygoing. Gave me the space to make a couple bumbles. Never once made me feel like I I had crashed and burned. I I, I I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that about him. And I, it was a real act of generosity. He was very humble. The, the first time I ever went to the State House was with him and Zach Fink. And Boy, it was a name. Yep. And um, that was when I realized, and I knew Michael was a big deal. I was 
I think I was like maybe 22, so it was, you know, like my first job. And I knew he was a big deal, but then, you know, like the trumpets start playing for him and the red carpets are rolled out. And it was truly like everybody there was like, Michael, Michael, like you were with royalty. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, no, he's a really big deal. <laughs> this is probably like 2008 or something like that. Um, but yeah, and he thought nothing of bringing me along. I was like, hey, can I go with you today? And he was like, sure, you know. Come along, kid. He, um, he's, he's, he was very, uh, he was very generous that way, yeah. and so unpretentious about it. Yeah. And he also, he just understood everybody was, every story is a new story, and, <clears throat> and it's like you have the reset button, and so you were on the same level as a rookie coming in covering that same story. So he didn't, he never, so he understood that there was no sneering down at anybody because we're all the same starting line it, you you have that clip so i'm sure you'll find that clip of him interviewing bill clinton yes even people who agree with you and like what you're doing think that you change your positions too much too easily i disagree with that i disagree with that i disagree with that you, you, i think that is press propaganda from people like you i def name me one american president while in office who ever took on the nra When's the last time we lowered the deficit three times in a row? Who else ever tried to raise taxes as president to balance the budget? Name me one. You can't. That's just pure press propaganda. With all due respect, people do say that. Well, if you tell them that enough, they might. There is an article, I urge you to read it, sir. There's an article in the Washington Monthly this week comparing my first two years to Harry Truman by a historian, not a press person, who says, Clinton has taken on more tough battles, won more, been more consistent, fought harder. What's the difference? The press coverage. Good luck. I hope you'll give the people of New Jersey a fair hearing. I showed my family that one. Uh, when I, 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 that was one. Of, that's just a New Jersey Hall of Fame class. You know, so, you know, someday you should have a little display with Michael Aaron in the New Jersey Hall of Fame, and that on a video, in a, one of those video stands where it's played on a loop. That would be. That would I would tend busloads of school kids. <laughs> to see it. That's American history. That is right American there. history. Beautiful. It's more than just New Jersey history. My heart goes out to all of you guys in there. Thanks, Chaz.